My name's Robin Doyle and I'm from um, Redcliffe, which is just north of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. My daughter was diagnosed at 16 with pulmonary arterial hypertension um, and they've deducted that it was caused by her congenital heart disorder that she was um, born with. So yeah, so we sort of had a bit of a rocky um, life from day one until you know, this present um, time. So we had a lot of ups and downs during that time. And she, as she has also other um, comorbidities as well. She's born with another uh, genetic condition as well, so that impacts on her pulmonary hypertension as well. She has a thing, a rare condition called catagenous syndrome, and that's where the cilia in the lungs don't work properly. So she gets treated the same as a cystic fibrosis, as in the lung component, but not the digestive um, part. So obviously she's prone to a lot of um, respiratory infections. So when she gets a respiratory infection, that increases the pressures in her lungs. So yeah, so we've had a yeah, pretty rocky, rocky life. She's always been um, uh, um, somebody who needed um, care, sort of monitored. And um, yeah, this is the first time I've been away for more, no, more than two nights. I've only ever had two, two nights um, away from her in 20 um, years. So um, yeah, it's been, yeah, my husband's there looking after her, so, and her father, this is also her father, yeah. When she's good, it's so it's it's okay. Um, but when she's not well, um, yeah, it has a, she can't bend over to pick things up. She she'll need help with her showering, getting undressed. She has a problem with vomiting, um, you know, with you know, breathlessness with more than normal. She has a little dog, and because she if she's unwell, she can't take it out. The dog um, Hope, it's, it's, the dog's name's Hope, and. Um, yeah, so it's that type of thing. So just with meals, helping with meals, and yeah, so it's a lot of it's a lot of extra care. And of course, she started university, but only lasted a week because she had too many admissions in that um, year. So um, it's just got too much for her. So yeah, so she has a small group of very, um, you know, sort of dedicated friends. But um, yeah, it makes it very hard socially for her as well, being socially isolated, not being able to do what other people of her age do. I've only um, recently joined um, Pull Me High Tension Western Australia. Um, it's about, that's, if I want to fly there, it's about a six hour flight from Brisbane to Perth. So it's something that um, we may go there next year to catch up with the group because I have a sister that lives there as well. But I found that PH Western Australia is very um, professional, dynamic, inclusive and only been going for a short period of time. It's amazing what they've got now with this um, patient-directed um, pack. It's the first one in Australia that's um, just for patients and so it's got a lot of um, different things that's included in the pack for patients and for also to, for patients to give to healthcare workers that don't know anything about um, pulmonary hypertension, like ambulance officers. When you go to a hospital, regional hospital, that doesn't know anything about pH or the drugs. So yeah, that's just amazing. And they've got a, a r large um, uh, group of different people, um, sorry, um, in, um, in, different areas they're working on. So it's not just, you know, like, you know, couple, not just two people doing the work. It's, you know, quite a good um, bunch of people. So I'm very excited about hopefully going there next year and um, actually meeting people face to face. So our population is 24 million in Australia, but obviously a lot less in um, Western Australia and where I come from, Queensland. So face to face support groups are very hard to, um, to get at, get going, so that's something. We have a little group at the Prince Charles Hospital where my daughter goes to, but um, unfortunately, it's only got about um, fifteen people or something that, uh, and with carers, that's total that come at the most on one session. And a few years ago, unfortunately, we lost about three people died, and somebody had a double lung transplant. So yeah, so we don't have the population that they do in um, here in America to actually get. To it's really much better if you can actually talk to people face to face than on Facebook. Yeah, I'd like to be able to interact more with people who have got um, not children, well, she's an adult now, but um, at that same age. That's what I find I really um, lack is sort of having that. Um, I know I have got a couple of friends, but um, yes, it's really nice to have a group that's just um, for young people also. So, because um, because even though my daughter does go to a support um, group for heart um, heart teens and um, young adults, but they only sort of meet every couple of times a year, so it's hard. It's hard for her as well.
G'day, I'm Robin Doyle and I know that my daughter is really rare because with pulmonary arterial hypertension, only at 20, it's sort of a bit of a life-changing experience for her. Okay, thank you.